Tonight we are seeing what led to the death of a Bernalillo County inmate. His death is one of many this year at the Metropolitan Detention Center. Back in June, we spoke with the family of 34 year old John Sanchez when doctors told them he no longer had brain function. Sanchez leaves behind two children. Jail officials gave us a statement on their version of events and tonight we have another the surveillance video. It shows the moments leading up to Sanchez getting rushed to a hospital. The jail is not releasing it, so we can't show it to you. But Tommy Lopez was able to see it. Jail officials are pointing to a new law that says they do not have to release the video, but they did allow me to come here to MDC and watch it. There are two key moments in the hours of video. Twice we see correctional officers throw Sanchez to the ground. First, we see Sanchez walking slowly down a hallway with one officer. He turns and runs away. The officer catches up and drags him to the ground from behind. Sanchez immediately grabs the back of his head. The officer cuffs him and hands him off to four other correctional officers. One minute later, as they're walking him down a hallway, a different officer struggles with Sanchez and slams him on the ground hard. It's clear in the second takedown that Sanchez hit the floor head first. Correctional officers took him to the medical area after that. An hour later, he was back in his cell, and hours after that, he was rushed to a hospital. The week of the incident, an MDC spokesperson said Sanchez was involved in two altercations and an escape attempt. Again, the only times we saw Sanchez suffer any injuries were when correctional officers twice slammed him to the ground. We had asked the jail for all video from that day where we can see Sanchez. If other inmates hurt him, we weren't able to see it. The autopsy lists the cause of death as blunt head trauma. The Office of the Medical Investigator concluded the manner of death was homicide. He was a good kid. Really good kid. We met again with Sanchez's father, Benny Jaramillo. He has not seen the video. I explained to him what I saw. I'm upset. Very upsetting because, you know, he was handcuffed. He can't understand why the officers used so much force. And my son wasn't that big. He was maybe about 5'5", five, five, you know, 130 pounds wet, maybe, you know. So he wasn't that big of a guy to be such a threat that they would have to slam him on the floor on his head. Remember, we saw officers take Sanchez back to his cell. Jaramillo says hospital workers told him if Sanchez had gotten to the hospital earlier, he may have lived. I feel like if you get slammed on your head or anything like that, or probably even kicked in your head, you should get sent to the hospital right away. Jaramillo hopes the officers who did this lose their jobs. Sanchez donated his organs and helped three people. And Tommy joins us tonight and Sanchez was going through some tough times when when he was incarcerated. He was. His father says he was addicted to fentanyl at the time and mm -hmm. that was behind many of his arrests over the years. State police say they found him in a stolen car. That was three days before that incident. Jaramillo believes his son would have been going through withdrawal symptoms mm -hmm. at the time of that incident. And that could explain some possible confusion on his part. And this is all still under investigation though. It is. Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office spokespeople confirmed that and an MDC spokesperson says that two of the three correctional officers who were placed on administrative leave mm -hmm. have now returned to work. All right, well, I, we know you'll keep following that. All right, Tommy, thanks so much. Uh, meanwhile, two MDC inmates died just last week, three days apart, according to Bernalillo County officials. A 48-year-old died Wednesday and a 39-year-old died Friday. Both died after medical emergencies, according to a spokesperson, and both deaths are under investigation.